Hey everybody, welcome back to Jimmy's promo and today is November 17th and it looks like Samsung has updated two modules inside of Goodlock. So today we'll take a look at both of these just to see what is brand new, what they have changed. And also if you are brand new to Goodlock, this one is an application that's made by Samsung for Samsung phones. You can find it inside of the Galaxy store. You cannot find it on the Play store. The only downside is that this one is region locked. So if you go inside the Galaxy store, you try to find it. If you can't find it, it just simply does not work in your country. So let's take a look inside of Goodlock one more time. Let's take a look at the two applications that's been updated. So clock face is one of those that's been updated. This is a way that you're able to change the way that your clock looks um, inside of your lock screen as well as the always on display. You can see here it was updated there uh, November 17th. If you go here, it basically states that it's getting ready for Samsung One UI 3. So we're going to hit on the update. Now there's really not much to take a look at inside of here of what has been changed other than they are just adding it and getting it ready for Samsung One UI 3. Now if you guys want to see some of the clock faces if you're not able to take a look which it should be available for everybody I'll be able to show you what this application looks like here in just a second. Now the next thing that's been updated is inside of the family tab and this is where you have keys cafe this is a way that you're able to create your own keyboard you know i've done a video on this already before i've played with it i tried to use it but it's just not really for me uh, so many things moving around changing around different sizes changing the way that your space bar looks where your enter could be putting you know emojis everywhere for me it just makes it super hard to get used to your phone especially when you get a new phone and I don't really need all that I'm a little old-fashioned so I'd rather just keep on using either uh, the Samsung keyboard or the the G board so right here it states that it supports tablet mode as well uh, and an improvement of the margin control so the new features is that you have character keys you have full symbols more new motion effects uh, delete my own theme and then change key color and then minor bug fixes so let's just go through let's hit on update so let's just go through both of these here let's first take a look at some of those clock faces and where you can find it if you want to set it up on your phone then we'll go inside of keys cafe we'll play around and i'll show you a few things you're able to do but before we get into all of that, if you guys are brand new here at the channel of Jimmy's Promo, you guys appreciate these tips, tricks, and tutorials, and the latest information on all the latest updates the day of, or usually the day after, make sure you guys hit that subscribe button, as well as the bell for notifications so you get notified for all future videos. So how about we head right over really fast, take a look at all that uh, clock face stuff. Where you want to find those settings, it's going to be inside of the lock screen, because it's dealing with the lock screen and always on display. Both of those is when your phone is locked. Then you go to your clock style. This is where you can choose if you want to change the settings for your always on display or lock screen. Inside of the always on display, you have all these different options right here. Uh, then you can also change, you can add in images, you can add in some themes as well as some GIFs. But then when you tap right there, you're gonna see more options. Uh, there's a few more that you can take a look at if you would like to use. Uh, but one of the things that's interesting is that it says that it's preparing uh, for Samsung One UI 3.0. So obviously it's not completely ready because if I tap here, there would be more options that would show in. Uh, so we're just gonna exit out of this one, go back inside the clock style, take a look at the lock screen. And with the lock screen, again, you can change the color of what you want your uh, your clocks to look like, the, the lettering, the numbers, things like that. Then when you go right over here, this is your clock face. This is the added or the additional, you know, clock faces for you from clock face again. It's still not 100% ready. Don't really know what they're doing. Maybe it'll work with the with another software update for Samsung One UI 3.0 beta. Obviously, they're getting ready for it, uh, but it's not there completely just yet. So if you've downloaded this, you've noticed that update, and you can't really change it, that is the reason why. So now let's go back inside of uh, Goodlock. We're going to take a look at Keys Cafe. I'm going to show you just a little bit of what you're able to do. I actually have a full video talking all about this. I guess I'll probably place it right up over there on the very top right-hand side you guys are able to take a look at if you want the full uh, tutorial and details. This is where you can create your own keyboard. Then this is where you can simply just style the keyboard and they have also keyboard games. So when you tap inside of here, if you want to turn this on, then you're able to change your theme. So let's say that we turn this thing on. Let's scroll through. If this is one that you like, then you can actually apply this to your keyboard. So if you simply just want to style it, this is probably what I would suggest to do. Uh, and then if you want to create your own keyboard, again, this gets pretty confusing and complicated. Uh, so we're just gonna go through, we're gonna edit with this simple keyboard. You just hit on edit. Now on the bottom, this is where, you know, this is what you can change. So if you wanted to add in maybe your number line, maybe you wanted to add in some emojis on the top, and then maybe there's some of these that you would like to change. So again, you just tap right over here, 
Uh, let's see, what is one of these that we don't have? So let's say that you wanted to tap this image there and you wanted to switch it with this little halo icon. So now you can see that the halo icon is there. You can also change the height, the width, if you want to move it around and you just hit on done. And you can also, you know, uh, um, if you're done with the whole thing, then you're able to hit on that, that finish button. This way you can also add in maybe some more, another line here. This is going to be for your little arrows if you like to use arrows. So let's move on back. Let's say that we don't really need to have all of that stuff there. We just want to have the number line. Okay. So now that we've done that, let's say that you wanted to create your keyboard to be a little bit longer. So you just tap here, you're able to make the width just a little bit longer if you want it to be easier to reach. Now let's say that you tap over here and maybe you wanted to change what was sitting on the bottom. So again, I guess we'll go right here. And if you don't want this to be the comma, maybe you want it to be a period. So now you can switch it to the period. Again, let's just say it one more time. Uh, maybe you wanted to have maybe even this on the bottom, then you can change it there. Then when you hit on done, you're gonna say, uh, I don't know, we'll just, we'll just tap yes. Uh, so now if you wanted to use this keyboard, you select that and that's pretty much it. That's what your keyboard is gonna look anytime that you use uh, really anything. So just to take a look at that keyboard, let's just tap here. So now you can see there, you got your number line, you have your regular keyboard, you have a period instead of a comma, and you also have your emojis on the bottom. If you wanted to, you can always bring that up to the very top, but just wanted to show that you are able to create your own keyboard. Again, I'm not a huge fan of it. So I'm gonna go inside the Keys Cafe, simply just turn it off. So now I wanna go right back inside of here. Uh, my keyboard is right back to the way that I like it. Uh, but I wanted to show you guys those two brand new updates uh, for those two modules inside of Goodlock. I hope you guys have liked this video. If you guys did, please give this thing a huge thumbs up. Don't forget to hit subscribe. Subscribe right over here in the very bottom left hand side. And if you like this video, the more than likely you'll also like this video. And I'll see you guys later.